George Gamow March 4, 1904 to August 19, 1968, born Jorge Antonovich Gamow, was a Soviet-American theoretical physicist and cosmologist. He was an early advocate and developer of Lemaitre's Big Bang theory. He discovered a theoretical explanation of alpha decay via quantum tunneling, and worked on radioactive decay of the atomic nucleus, star formation, stellar nucleosynthesis and Big Bang nucleosynthesis which he collectively called nucleocosmogenesis, and molecular genetics. In his middle and late career, Gamow directed much of his attention to teaching and wrote popular books on science, including 1-2-3. Infinity and the Mr. Tompkins Series of books 1939-1967. Some of his books are still in print more than a half century after their original publication. <laughs> Early life and career Gamow was born in Odessa, Russian Empire. His father taught Russian language and literature in high school, and his mother taught geography and history at a school for girls. In addition to Russian, Gamow learned to speak some French from his mother and German from a tutor. Gamow learned fluent English in his college years and later. Most of his early publications were in German or Russian, but he later switched to writing in English for both technical papers and for the lay audience. He was educated at the Institute of Physics and Mathematics in Odessa and at the University of Leningrad Gamow studied under Alexander Friedman for some time in Leningrad, until Friedman's early death in 1925. He aspired to do his doctoral thesis under Friedman, but had to change dissertation advisors. At the university, Gamow made friends with three other students of theoretical physics, Lev Landau, Dmitry Ivanenko, and Matvey Bronstein. The four formed a group known as the Three Musketeers, which met to discuss and analyze the groundbreaking papers on quantum mechanics published during those years. He later used the same phrase to describe the Alpha, Hermann, and Gamow group. On graduation, he worked on quantum theory in Göttingen, where his research into the atomic nucleus provided the basis for his doctorate. He then worked at the Theoretical Physics Institute of the University of Copenhagen from 1928 to 1931, with a break to work with Ernest Rutherford at the Cavendish Laboratory in Cambridge. He continued to study the atomic nucleus proposing the liquid drop model, but also worked on stellar physics with Robert Atkinson and Fritz Houtermans. In 1931, Gamow was elected a corresponding member of the Academy of Sciences of the USSR at age 28 one of the youngest in the history of this organization. During the period 1931-1933, Gamow worked in the physical department of the Radium Institute Leningrad headed by Vitaly Klopin. Europe's first cyclotron was designed under the guidance and direct participation of Igor Kurshatov, Lev Mysovsky and Gamow. In 1932, Gamow and Mysovsky submitted a draft design for consideration by the Academic Council of the Radium Institute, which approved it. The cyclotron was not completed until 1937. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Radioactive decay. In the early 20th century, radioactive materials were known to have characteristic exponential decay rates, or half-lives. At the same time, radiation emissions were known to have certain characteristic energies. By 1928, Gamow in Göttingen had solved the theory of the alpha decay of a nucleus via tunneling, with mathematical help from Nikolai Kochin. The problem was also solved independently by Ronald W. Gurney and Edward U. Condon. Gurney and Condon did not, however, achieve the quantitative results achieved by Gamow. Classically, the particle is confined to the nucleus because of the high energy requirement to escape the very strong nuclear potential well. Also classically, it takes an enormous amount of energy to pull apart the nucleus, an event that would not occur spontaneously. In quantum mechanics, however, there is a probability the particle can tunnel through the wall of the potential well and escape. Gamow solved a model potential for the nucleus and derived from first principles a relationship between the half-life of the alpha decay event process and the energy of the emission, which had been previously discovered empirically and was known as the geiger nuttall law. Some years later, the name Gamow factor or Gamow sommerfeld factor was applied to the probability of incoming nuclear particles tunneling through the electrostatic Coulomb barrier and undergoing nuclear reactions.
Topic: <laughs> Defection. Gamow worked at a number of Soviet establishments before deciding to flee the Soviet Union because of increased oppression. In 1931, he was officially denied permission to attend a scientific conference in Italy. Also in 1931, he married Lyubov Vokmintseva Russian, Lyubov Vomincheva another physicist in Soviet Union, whom he nicknamed Ro, after the Greek letter. Gamow and his new wife spent much of the next two years trying to leave the Soviet Union, with or without official permission. Niels Bohr and other friends invited Gamow to visit during this period, but Gamow could not get permission to leave. Gamow later said that his first two attempts to defect with his wife were in 1932 and involved trying to kayak, first a planned 250-kilometer paddle over the Black Sea to Turkey, and another attempt from Murmansk to Norway. Poor weather foiled both attempts, but they had not been noticed by the authorities. In 1933, Gamow was suddenly granted permission to attend the 7th Solvay Conference on Physics, in Brussels. He insisted on having his wife accompany him, even saying that he would not go alone. Eventually the Soviet authorities relented and issued passports for the couple. The two attended and arranged to extend their stay, with the help of Marie Curie and other physicists. Over the next year, Gamow obtained temporary work at the Curie Institute, University of London, and the University of Michigan. <laughs> Move to America In 1934, Gamow and his wife moved to the United States. He became a professor at George Washington University in 1934 and recruited physicist Edward Teller from London to join him at GWU. In 1936, Gamow and Teller published what became known as the Gamow Teller Selection Rule for beta decay. During his time in Washington, Gamow would also publish major scientific papers with Mario Schenberg and Ralph Alpher. By the late 1930s, Gamow's interests had turned towards astrophysics and cosmology. In 1935, Gamow's son, Igor Gamow was born. In his 1947 book, Gamow's dedication was, To my son Igor, who wanted to be a cowboy. George Gamow became a naturalized American in 1940. He retained his formal association with GWU until 1956. During World War II, Gamow did not work directly on the Manhattan Project producing the atomic bomb, in spite of his knowledge of radioactivity and nuclear fusion. He continued to teach physics at GWU and consulted for the U.S. Navy. Gamow was interested in the processes of stellar evolution and the early history of the solar system. In 1945, he co-authored a paper supporting work by German theoretical physicist Carl Friedrich von Weizsäcker on planetary formation in the early solar system. Gamow published another paper in the British journal Nature in 1948, in which he developed equations for the mass and radius of a primordial galaxy which typically contains about 100 billion stars, each with a mass comparable with that of the Sun. Big Bang nucleosynthesis Gamow's work led the development of the hot Big Bang theory of the expanding universe. He was the earliest to employ Alexander Friedman's and Georges Lemaitre's non-static solutions of Einstein's gravitational equations describing a universe of uniform matter density and constant spatial curvature. Gamow's crucial advance would provide a physical reification of Lemaitre's idea of a unique primordial quantum. Gamow did this by assuming that the early universe was dominated by radiation rather than by matter. Most of the later work in cosmology is founded in Gamow's theory. He applied his model to the question of the creation of the chemical elements and to the subsequent condensation of matter into galaxies, whose mass and diameter he was able to calculate in terms of the fundamental physical parameters, such as the speed of light c, Newton's gravitational constant g, Sommerfeld's fine structure constant α, and Planck's constant h. Gamow's interest in cosmology arose from his earlier interest in energy generation and element production and transformation in stars. This work, in turn, evolved from his fundamental discovery of quantum tunneling as the mechanism of nuclear alpha decay, and his application of this theory to the inverse process to calculate rates of thermonuclear reaction. At first, Gamow believed that all the elements might be produced in the very high temperature and density early stage of the universe. 
Later, he revised this opinion on the strength of compelling evidence advanced by Fred Hoyle et al., that elements heavier than lithium are largely produced in thermonuclear reactions in stars and in supernovae. Gamo formulated a set of coupled differential equations describing his proposed process and assigned, as a Ph.D. dissertation topic, his graduate student Ralph Alpher the task of solving the equations numerically. These results of Gamow and Alpher appeared in 1948 as the Alpher Beta Gamow paper. Beta later referred to this paper as being wrong. Before his interest turned to the question of the genetic code, Gamow published about 20 papers on cosmology. The earliest was in 1939 with Edward Teller on galaxy formation, followed in 1946 by the first description of cosmic nucleosynthesis. He also wrote many popular articles as well as academic textbooks on this and other subjects. In 1948, he published a paper dealing with an attenuated version of the coupled set of equations describing the production of the proton and the deuteron from thermal neutrons. By means of a simplification and using the observed ratio of hydrogen to heavier elements he was able to obtain the density of matter at the onset of nucleosynthesis and from this the mass and diameter of the early galaxies. In 1953 he produced similar results, but this time based on another determination of the density of matter and radiation at the point at which they became equal. In this paper Gamow determined the density of the relict background radiation from which a present temperature of 7 K is trivially predicted, a value slightly more than twice the presently accepted value. In 1967 he published a reminder and recapitulation of his own work as well as that of Alpha and Robert Herman both with Gamo and also independently of him. This was prompted by the discovery of the cosmic background radiation by Penzias and Wilson in 1965, for which Gamow, Alpha and Herman felt that they did not receive the credit they deserved for their prediction of its existence and source. Gamow was disconcerted by the fact that the authors of a communication explaining the significance of the Penzias Wilson observations failed to recognize and cite the previous work of Gamow and his collaborators. DNA and RNA In 1953, Francis Crick, James Watson, Maurice Wilkins and Rosalind Franklin discovered the double helix structure of the DNA macromolecule. Gamo attempted to solve the problem of how the ordering of four different bases adenine, cytosine, thymine and guanine in DNA chains might control the synthesis of proteins from their constituent amino acids. Crick has said that Gamow's suggestions helped him in his own thinking about the problem. As related by Crick, Gamow observed that the 43 equals 64 possible permutations of the four DNA bases, taken three at a time, would be reduced to 20 distinct combinations if the order was irrelevant. Gamow proposed that these 20 combinations might code for the 20 amino acids which, he suggested, might well be the sole constituents of all proteins. Gamow's contribution to solving the problem of genetic coding gave rise to important models of biological degeneracy. The specific system that Gamow was proposing, called Gamow's diamonds, proved to be incorrect. The triplets were supposed to be overlapping, so that in the sequence GGAC, for example, GGA could produce one amino acid and GAC another, and also non-degenerate, meaning that each amino acid would correspond to one combination of three bases, in any order. Later protein sequencing work proved that this could not be the case. The true genetic code is non overlapping and degenerate, and changing the order of a combination of bases does change the amino acid. In 1954, Gamo and Watson co founded the RNA Thai Club. This was a discussion group of leading scientists concerned with the problem of the genetic code, which counted among its members the physicists Edward Teller and Richard Feynman. In his autobiographical writings, Watson later acknowledged the great importance of Gamow's insightful initiative. However, this did not prevent him from describing this colorful personality as a zany, card trick playing, limerick singing, booze swilling, practical joking, giant imp. <laughs> Late career and life Gamow worked at George Washington University from 1934 until 1954, when he became a visiting professor at the University of California, Berkeley. In 1956, he moved to the University of Colorado Boulder, where he remained for the rest of his career. 
In 1956, Gamow became one of the founding members of the Physical Science Study Committee PSSC, which later reformed teaching of high school physics in the post-Sputnik years. Also in 1956, he divorced his first wife. Gamo later married Barbara Perkins an editor for one of his publishers in 1958. In 1959 Gamow, Hans Bethe, and Victor Weisskopf publicly supported the re-entry of Frank Oppenheimer into teaching college physics at the University of Colorado, as the Red Scare began to fade J. Robert Oppenheimer was the older brother of Frank Oppenheimer, and both of them had worked on the Manhattan Project before their careers in physics were derailed by McCarthyism. While in Colorado, Frank Oppenheimer became increasingly interested in teaching science through simple hands-on experiments, and he eventually moved to San Francisco to found the Exploratorium. Gamow would not live to see his colleague's opening of this innovative new science museum. In late August 1969, in his 1961 book The Atom and Its Nucleus, Gamow proposed representing the periodic system of the chemical elements as a continuous tape, with the elements in order of atomic number wound round in a three dimensional helix whose diameter increased stepwise, corresponding to the longer rows of the conventional periodic table. Gamow was an atheist. Gamow continued his teaching at the University of Colorado Boulder and focused increasingly on writing textbooks and books on science for the general public. After several months of ill health, surgeries on his circulatory system, diabetes, and liver problems, Gamow was dying from liver failure, which he had called the weak link that could not withstand the other stresses. In a letter written to Ralph Alpher on August 18, he had written, the pain in the abdomen is unbearable and does not stop." Prior to this, there had been a long exchange of letters with his former student, in which he was seeking a fresh understanding of some concepts used in his earlier work, with Paul Dirac. Gamow relied on Alpha for deeper understanding of mathematics. On August 19, 1968, Gamow died at age 64 in Boulder, Colorado, and was buried there in Green Mountain Cemetery. The Physics Department Tower at the University of Colorado at Boulder is named for him. Writings Gamow was a highly successful science writer, with several of his books still in print more than a half century after their initial publication. As an educator, Gamow recognized and emphasized fundamental principles that were unlikely to become obsolete, even as the pace of science and technology accelerated. He also conveyed a sense of excitement with the revolution in physics and other scientific topics of interest to the common reader. Gamow himself sketched the many illustrations for his books, which added a new dimension to and complemented what he intended to convey in the text. He was unafraid to introduce mathematics wherever it was essential, but he tried to avoid deterring potential readers by including large numbers of equations that did not illustrate essential points. In 1956, he was awarded the Kalinga Prize by UNESCO for his work in popularizing science with his Mr. Tompkins. Series of books 1939-1967, his book 1, 2, 3, Infinity, and other works. Before his death, Gamow was working with Richard Blade on a textbook Basic Theories in Modern Physics, but the work was never completed or published under that title. Gamow was also writing My World Line, an informal autobiography, which was published posthumously in 1970. A collection of Gamow's writings was donated to the George Washington University in 1996. The materials include correspondence, articles, manuscripts and printed materials both by and about George Gamow. The collection is currently under the care of GWU's Special Collections Research Center, located in the Estelle and Melvin Gelman Library. Books Popular The Birth and Death of the Sunday 1940, revised 1952. The Biography of the Earth 1941. 1, 2, 3. Infinity 1947, revised 1961, Viking Press copyright renewed by Barbara Gamow, 1974, Dover Publications, ISBN 0-486-25664-2, illustrated by the author. Dedicated to his son, Igor Gamow, it remains one of the most well-received ever in the popular science genre. 
The book winds from mathematics to biology, to physics, crystallography, and more. The Moon 1953. Gamow, George, Stern, Marvin 1958. Puzzle Math. Viking Press. ISBN 978-0-333-08637-7. Biography of Physics 1961. Gravity 1962 Dover Publications, ISBN 0-486-42563-0. Profiles of Galileo, Newton, and Einstein A Planet Called Earth 1963. A Star Called the Sunday 1964. 30 Years That Shook Physics, The Story of Quantum Theory, 1966, Dover Publications, ISBN 0-486-24895-X. My World Line, An Informal Autobiography 1970, Viking Press, ISBN 0-670-50376-2. Mr. Tompkins series Throughout these books, Mr. Tompkins is introduced as C. G. H. Tompkins to emphasize the notion of CGH physics. Mr. Tompkins in Wonderland 1940, originally published in serial form in Discovery Magazine UK in 1938. Mr. Tompkins Explores the Atom 1945. Mr. Tompkins Learns the Facts of Life 1953, about biology. Mr. Tompkins in Paperback 1965, combines Mr. Tompkins in Wonderland with Mr. Tompkins Explores the Atom, Cambridge University Press, 1993 Canto edition with foreword by Roger Penrose Mr. Tompkins Inside Himself 1967, a rewritten version of Mr. Tompkins learns the facts of life giving a broader view of biology, including recent developments in molecular biology. Co-authored by MYCAs. The New World of Mr. Tompkins 1999, co-author Russell Stannard updated Mr. Tompkins in paperback ISBN 9780521630000 as a hardcover. Topic science textbooks The Constitution of Atomic Nuclei and Radioactivity 1931 Structure of Atomic Nuclei and Nuclear Transformations 1937 Atomic Energy in Cosmic and Human Life 1947 Theory of Atomic Nucleus and Nuclear Energy Sources 1949 Co-author C L Critchfield The Creation of the Universe 1952 Matter Earth and Sky 1958 Physics Foundations and Frontiers 1960 Co-author John M Cleveland The Atom and Its Nucleus 1961 Mr Tompkins Gets Serious The Essential George Gamow 2005 edited by Robert Order Pie Press ISBN 0 13 5 incorporates material from matter earth and sky and the atom and its nucleus Notwithstanding the title this book is not part of the Mr Tompkins series Topic in popular culture George Gamow was the inspiration for Professor Gamma in the Professor Gamma series of science fiction books by Geoffrey Hoyle and his father astronomer Sir Fred Hoyle. See also IRCA process YLEM RNA Thai Club